Been See, that, that's a one-time application. Look at that thing. Would it will come off? No. Well, how did it go off? I pushed hard enough, it went on. Once it's on, look how loose it is. Fucking tolerances these days. But it won't come off. Well, if I got there. Oh. If I can get to where I can get it behind it enough, it doesn't bind up on it. It only fits one direction. I can't change its flies like I do on the other gear. Nothing's made right. It's just, look at that. It's, there's the burrs on there. I'm working I'm working the burrs off. See, the burrs are going away. See, I'm getting it broken in for you. Mm-hmm. Time I'm all done, it's going to be worn out. <laughs> there, it's worn out. You happy? Now, is it going to... Oh, there's another problem. Look at that. It doesn't index. Do they sell you that piece that's mated to that in the kit? See, you know what? That means the washer's probably not going inside the cluster gear like it's supposed to. And now, see, now that thing will come off. <laughs> God, this thing's a mystery at every turn. Yeah, it's not going in all the way. See, it's hitting hard. Mm-hmm. But it ain't hitting where it belongs. It goes in deeper than that. up in there now. So these are supposed to be a tight fit, but they're not supposed to be bring out the jeff hammer fit. Oh well. Okay, this is what, 182? Going in, going in crooked. It's going in hard. That's a lot of force. Would think so. still rotate, so that's good. See, the press pushes straight, so when I hit the shoulder, I know it's right. mm -hmm. beating out of the hammer. You if never it just popped in, I've been fine. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get, that's right? It's more than just a pop in with a hammer fit. 
That was probably a five thou press in there at least. I'm sure the washer's bowed. Like I said, after you do that, you got to make sure the rollers rotate. You know, they got inflay in them. They're not too tight. So Does it good. go down up against the lip, or could you push it all the way to the... No, there's a lip in there. Oh, okay, good. How does oil get in there? It gets in there. Carefully. <laughs> well, I was going to say. Uh, let's see, where's our flat spot at? Right on top. Yeah, it goes in there like it's supposed to, see? Ah. Yep. So now it's all the way engaged. Gotcha. So it fits in multiple spots, which is good. It's only going to sit in a couple of locations, so I just don't know which one it's going to be in. Okay. All right. That only took an hour and something for a 10 minute project, 15 minute project. You know, I'm thinking somebody could try this at home, but I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. <laughs> well, especially after you paid your money and got all the parts and then couldn't get it together. What, what, what would you do? Come here because that's what happens all the time. Well, I'm just saying. People get stuck and they give up on it or they take it to a shop and have work done. Instead of figuring out how to do it themselves. Well, but that was my whole point. It's not that they can't figure out how to do it themselves. But that's why I got my videos to educate the customer how to fix his own crap. Right, right. Well, and that's a great thing. Or the shop owner. Or it tells you if you're getting screwed or not by the guy we're doing the job because this is what it takes to do the job. This is what it takes. Okay, we need a spring. So we need a new spring because your spring, you had one junk one there, as I recall. I don't know what you did with your junk spring. What do you do with a junk spring? See how this one's all bent to hell? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that where it doesn't matter, which is a sh shifting mechanism. So I just happen to know it might happen to be a brand new one floating around. New old stock from 1940 and 2. Maybe. Or older. 1939-38. I know the kid that packaged all those. Boy, he was stupid. No, he wasn't. Look at that. This one's all screwed up. What caused it to get that way? It's either reproduction or it's all chewed up. See how it's all bent? Yeah. And worn. It's ugly. But it'll work for the other application, just not in this one. We're going to use this one here. And what's the weight difference? Quite a bit. Stiffer. Now the fun part is putting this together. Counter shaft. This is your installation tool. That's <clears throat> <laughs> piece of crap. Ah, that was peeled my nail back. <clears throat> All right, this is your installation tool right here. Where's the slot? Slot goes up here. So you got two ways to do this. <clears throat> the upside down or the correct way? <laughs> Which way do you want it to be? The correct way. Okay. So see these uh, cutaways here? Yeah. Okay. 
to engage those screws in there. So you turn it 90 degrees, shove it in, and rotate it the correct way, and you collapse the spring. Oh, wow. So where's the spring at? There's a junk one. Where's the good one at? What'd you do with a good spring? You ate it? I didn't see where it went. It was here. There it is. Where? Oh, there it is underneath. Okay, so that goes on the shaft. So, now let's see this. So if the case like this, it falls off, see? So you, know, you have to turn the case so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so we want this part to be up when I'm done, so I'm going to rotate it 90, shove it in and rotate it this way 90. Why is that? Why is that sticking so far up? We need a little bit of spacing in here. Try figuring that out on your own. We need some more of these washers like this size here. Okay, here's one right here. There we go. So we use the available tools at hand. See, you like that? Make sure you're in there where it belongs. Shove it in, rotate it. 90 degrees. See how this is at 90 degrees now? Uh -huh. That holds it where you need to be. And you pull it up. Now it's armed in there. Yeah, I can see that. And now you gotta put this thing in there and jam it in there. Get past that damn spline that don't uh, work and shove it in there. And make sure that spring don't drop out. Yeah. You know, okay. so we got the spring in there already. Yep, okay. Now remember how I cut this away in here? Yeah, yeah. That's why I did that. Yeah. So it went in expeditiously. Make it a little easier to get in. Okay, so this has to be straight up and down when it goes Index in. Index it, okay. Because that one over there is indexed. Okay, now if we're lucky, this slides right in here. Oh, look at that. See, somebody cut that so it works nicely. I don't know why would anybody do that. Okay, you got to get the index where it's about right. So it should be right in that area. I can't feel the spline. Too far. Feel it. Okay, I'm going to line this right up with this here. Okay. See how it rotates forward a little bit? Yeah. So now when I put this one in there, I put this in the same spot. There, so it should be on the right one. There, going in that time. Just lined up. You want to go in, see? Oh, wow. There, it's in. And it's all lined up properly. Should be. See how it engages a kicker? Yeah. back in. That didn't go in very easily, so I'm not sure what the deal is. It's not engaged. That looks like it is. 90 degrees. Engaging like it's supposed to. Hmm. That might be a problem. Here comes the spring again. You don't put out any lube on there to help it. No, we got something else going. I'm not sure what the problem is. It's like it's engaged too far. It's popping out. It should be able to turn it back. It's not. So that washer I pushed in there might have been cut too deep. So it's engaging too deep now. I'm not sure what the problem is. 
that time it came off. I'm thinking it's in there too deep. It's 113 deeper. The wash is not 113 tile thick. Okay, where's the inner washer? the old on the left and the new on the right. Something's not right, so you figure it out. Okay, I need the washer 910. See, that's how it's supposed to go in, not, right. not a hydraulic press on a damn thing. Can we get the other one out? Okay, that one's in the same depth. Now. Okay, I need a, something to measure with. Let me get a block of metal over here. Sorry for the jiggle, folks. It's pretty close quarters here. One guy complained he was getting seasick. I told him close his eyes <laughs> or come run the camera. Yeah, come run the damn camera. <laughs> or close your eyes. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell all the comment guys. You don't like it? Jeez, I mean, I don't know what else to say. You know, I'm not oh, a shit. professional. What you're, the heck? you're getting it for free? Well, yeah, cheap the, bastard won't pay for anything. And then they want to complain about it. Well, he was pissing on about being screwed up. Screw gee, you. Gee, many Christmas. Fuck. I don't like anything. So we're forty-eight thousand too deep. And that makes a difference. Which one was too deep? Then we're going to have too much slop on those bearings, though. Okay, I'm at 8, 18, that way. Yeah, 8. No, actually, that one's deeper. 781. Nope, that ain't it. No, this one's actually deeper, so that's not it. Hmm. 
this one's deeper than that one, so that's not the problem. Bet you can't get that other one out that easy. No, I know I won't get it out that easy, but I don't need to take it out. Okay, so it's not too deep. So, is the counter shaft made wrong? Something isn't right, I know that. Counter shaft right here, so they all look the same. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. All I know is it didn't work. Sure, what the problem is? Well, there's one problem. I'm backwards. That would be a problem. Hopefully the kicker works once we get it all in there. But right now, it doesn't. All right. Go back where it was. Should be right about there. There it goes. Okay, don't move it anymore. All right. Went in that time. Well, it went in before. Just I rotated the kicker and I couldn't re-engage it. So hopefully that part works. Okay, where did we leave off over here last night? I forgot. Hmm. We were happy with that. No, I was going to make a change. I made a couple changes, but I don't know what the changes are going to be. But hopefully we already did our changes. Because I remember... We'll find out. A little bit now. Okay, this should just slide right in. You know, setting this up is more complicated than doing a motor, isn't it? Same thing. Well, the motor's a little more straightforward than this. Less parts. That... Less parts in a motor, huh? Less parts to adjust in the motor. Transmission's all in one, whereas in the motor, you, right. got, you got the flywheel, you got the cam chest, you got the oil pumps. Right, right. This one's all one, one mess. Okay, we'll be back. I can rehydrate this. Okay. I'm just, uh, just enjoying it. What was your problem over there? Nothing. I mean, you're... What's, what's your excuse for not filming? <laughs> I'm too busy enjoying the construction 
of my transmission. I'm paying for it. I guess I should enjoy it, but... So what you're saying is you're being selfish. Not well, yeah. You're not letting everybody else... Yeah, all these other guys, I mean, you know, come to San Diego and didn't have them build your transmission. It's grouch your paint right now. That's just... Uh, I'm sure you could, somebody could put it together and I'm sure it would work, but uh, after seeing that all the fine tuning that goes into that. I'm a little surprised we're not using that $180 Tribodyne grease in there, but. You didn't say you wanted it in here either. Oh, geez. If you broke that down to buy the dab, I wonder what that would cost. Two bucks a dab. <laughs> Two bucks a dab. I mean, it's hard to break it down. Probably buck a dab. Okay. Um, all right, so we painted this last night because Alan thought he might make it look pretty. So we had to uh, spruce it up a little bit for you. That's what, what temperature we baked that on at? God, it was too hot to touch, which you thought about 500 degrees. <laughs> With my fingers, yeah. <laughs> it was bubbling in places, let's put it that way. It was smoking everywhere else. <laughs> I detect in your actions you have a confidence it's all going to be perfect. No. Uh, you're you're giving off that air of confidence here. No. Really, not at all, huh? Because no. uh, I mean I know we double and tripled and quadruple checked, but uh. I know we're still playing around the in plays over here. You're still playing around with the in play. Yeah. And wow. I, and I have to make the washers yet too. Remember, those are not the ones we're using. Oh, jeez. You think it's almost done? No, I'm. I'm just. I'm. Like I said, I'm blown away that there's. Uh, I mean, if the kicker's gonna work, I have suspicions about that not gonna work. Really? Well, you know, I was checking it for a reason. Yeah, I. I know, but wow. I mean, you know, this is this is into probably. Just you saw the new paint, you thought it was done. So no, was no, 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 no. I, I'm guessing at least 10 hours of honest. Find me that new hardware kit over there. Honest work. Well, 50 cents an hour, that's a pretty good deal. I, I, I didn't say that. I like how you almost spilled it on the floor. Yeah, I didn't. You well, then, to. you know what? I got enough hand with the camera here. You're one of these guys, too. See that thing right on top? You get it. Right on top. Jesus Christ. Like there. Are you happy? It's like it was far away. Jeez. Well, you're yelling at me. i got to look through the viewfinder. I, I, I'm, I'm out of sync on the you're out of sync. thing. I'm, I'm looking at the ceiling. How's the ceiling look? Find well, right I'm not filming this. Then you got me looking for a bolt kit. That's right. Hmm. You didn't open it up either. I gotta do that myself too. Call Scooby. See if he cares. See, he'll come over and start biting on it. You mentioned his name. He's gonna come over. See, here. I think you're gonna say, "Wow, look at that! It works perfect." Well, I want to see if these are gonna fit. Oh, all right. I see. Well, you, I'm trying to get you to talk here. Put more and more of the parts. You know, these people like a Rolex watch. That's a nicer piece there than a Rolex watch. 
I'll bet those Rolex watches come down the assembly line just like anything else. But this thing, everything on this was hand-fitted. It had to be hand-fitted, too. It had to be hand-fitted. Or it certainly wouldn't have worked. I'm glad we didn't paint the case green. Who wants the cases green? Well, I could have got you the green case. You uh, well, it would have all been all scratchy looking. I like it like it is. Now, on my bike, I'm going to have a green case. Well, you green up all you want. Now, my civilian bike, I'm going to have a natural case. Well, that, that is nice. Well, I got two for one, so. You know, I, 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 I'm i not a machinist. You like clearances like that and tolerances. But if it moves, it'll 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 break in. And uh, with good nice. lubricant, we're going the finest lubricant made. It might break before it breaks in. I don't believe that. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe that at all. It sh you go right out on the drag strip. I'm, I'm saying as nice and hand-fitted as that is, you ride it and go through the gears, upshift, downshift, and then change the oil. Right now we're lock solid, so. Shit. <laughs> Told you it was tight. Yeah, but where do you go looking? See how this one moves? How about putting the... the uh, kick lever on there. And see how see. this one's moving? Yes. So this one's not tight. See the inflight? Pretty close. That's not tight. So we know the inflight is fine. The problem is second gear is locked up. But see there's second gear is moving. Look at that. So second gear has got clearance on it. So what the hell is tight? So is that stupid gear hitting again? Well, that's all I. That's why I said to you earlier. Yeah. No shit. But you know that makes perfect sense. That big gear was never supposed to be in that. There was it, on the new case. It'll break in, though. I heard. No, it's not going to break in. That's a little tight. I'm, I wasn't saying, I wasn't, somebody knocking? No, it was a truck driving by. Oh, I wasn't professing that it would break in that tight. Okay, so we get all of these teeth here. No, it's not that. Did you put the washer on the outside of that like you wanted? Between the case and the and the gear. I don't remember you slipping that last washer on. What over here? Yes. It was in there. Okay. That was this clamps here. Okay. Remember, we haven't put the cluster gear in here before, so that's new. So it hits up against over here, is where it's supposed to hit. It's supposed to be a, a gap in between right there and there, which can't tell if there is or isn't. See this gear's loose. Mm -hmm. This gear's loose. This gear's loose. And yeah, that one's loose. That one's loose. What it's not loose is the cluster, which we just put in. So that means well, wouldn't it make sense then that up there where the kicker shaft here, you got something going on in here? I don't know. All I know is the cluster is there. Now that we got a big gap in the, there between a tooth and a bearing race. Oh, yeah. So well, I know it's not bottomed out over there. So that leaves just the, the shaft from ratchet mechanism or something else. Is Why are those gears beveled like that right there? And all the rest of them aren't. You no, know, on this inner one, right up against there. This one here. Yeah. Because it sits inside of this. See how the bearing race has got clearance in it. Oh, all right. It's taper cut, bevel cut. All right. But see, we have clearance. 
in here. Well, obviously the belt, the washer is moving. Yeah, the right. Bearing, so, so it's not. It, this is not jammed against that. Right. So, but it's jammed someplace. And see, this is all in there. Here, now this is moving. See, as I said, this should move. Everything else is moving. Right. So see, we got clearance on the main shaft. All right, so when you were trying to pry that over with the screwdriver, then it's the other the other cluster. So it's, it's that side over there is where the problem's at. Do you think it's that washer that we pressed in there? Mm, like, don't. you know, one thing you said that that washer yeah. uh, is waved now. It's yeah. not flat. So what we're going to want right now is I'm going to check our in play on second because that's where I was playing with last night. <clears throat> That's where I was making some adjustments. <clears throat> now this here, see our gear, see our washers <laughs> move here. Yes. So, That's a good thing. Well, I want to see if I got eight thou clearance between the second gear plate and the second gear. So it goes in there. Mm -hmm. It's tight, but it goes in there. Or than go underneath it, it's, it's in there. So I got eight, so I'm happy with eight. I have at least eight. Uh, I don't think we have ten. And it's an extremely tight ten, see? All right, but the fact that it goes in is ten. On here, remember the plate was sideways? Yeah. I hit the plate with a hammer to beat it in. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that helped or not. So we had more clearance on the back, or less clearance on the back side than the front side of it. So the eight is tight on this side. It seems to be pretty even now because before, like I said, it moved when I first hit it. We did that off a of video. Used used my hammer. Yeah, but it's. Uh... I don't want to be called a hammer mechanic. Ah. So what I did is I took the uh, this here, and we had the second gear plate here bolted in. Right. Got held it with my hand to tighten the bolts. Right. But I think what happened was it kicked out like this, a little bit like that. Oh. So when I went ahead and tapped, because when I first tapped it, it was kind of soft, and then after it was hard. Right. It was all the way in. So when I measured with the feeler gauge the first time, when it was cocked out like that, it was it was closer here than here. Now it seems to be pretty even all the way around. So that's a plus. There's a missing over over here too. So all the adjustments I did on the main shaft seem to work correctly. We have our clearances in here. See the inflow here now? Right. Everything's got our clearance. Here, here, second gear, everything's got clearance. So the main shaft is pretty well set up. So now all I gotta do is make these washers correctly and not use those mock-up ones. So that's all figured out now. Now the problem right now is, is the counter shaft is the one that's causing the problem. That's what got us locked up. Where's that new kicker on your butt? Uh, it's right there. Right there. there it is. You know, I was going to say, even though you lubed it up, it's still pretty well dry. You know what I mean? Just a burr somewhere. What was that? Whatever it was, I broke we, it off. We broke it off, whatever it was. <laughs> Look how much better it's working every crank. You know, it's, it's pretty tight. The kicker seems to be working, but I can't check the kicker. Here, hold this down with your hand right here. And there's the kicker's working. The kicker's bound up right there. That's that that nick again you're up against. Okay, kicker release. Now it should ratchet coming up. Yeah, but it's too tight for that. The ratchet is working there. Right 
right there is our tight spot. So there's one thing right here, because it went all the way around, no problem. Right here it's tight. So when I push it through, then it's good again. So and we're good for until it comes back around again. Right. But we're tight as hell. Fit on that. Okay, it's, it's not usable the way it is, obviously. But. So something on the counter shaft has got us tight. Well, I'll bet you'll find it when you take it apart. It's not the gear too. See, the gears are all. Yeah, this. those are sweet. See, every gear has backlash in it. The counter shaft itself is not moving. So we have to take it apart, take the main shaft out, put the counter shaft back in, and tighten it back up again, and try to determine what the problem is. With the kicker, there's a lack arm. of in play. Now, if that washer that didn't go in that that twenty thou that was different, thirty thou, whatever it was that number I came up with before, in a different two heights, that's kicking our in play. It's taking away our, our clearance that we have in here because that, it's waffled. So it's no, it's not down far enough. Oh, and that could be the problem. We have no in play in the counter shaft right now. Now, if I loosen this up just a little bit. This thing should start working correctly, I bet. Right now it doesn't work for shit. Now, I don't know why the ratchet's got that one tight spot either. That's another, that's another problem. So we're going to go ahead and loosen this thing all up. And once this cover cracks free, probably about 10 thou, it'll probably free up. And everything will work correctly again, I bet. See, that didn't make any difference because it's tight here, not there. When I pop these free, it's one thing they're going to free up. Okay. See the cover cracked over about 20 yeah, now, 30 sure. now. Sure. Now everything's working correctly. Sure. So we have a lack of in-play in our counter shaft. And that's all controlled by that washer. And the bearing cup. This here. And that's not being dimpled and being buried on it. So we're always dropping back that the cluster gear is made wrong again. So you get that one part that's not made right, it screws with you. And you're blaming on me not clearance in your case. No, I didn't say that. I'm just I was just looking at that. I didn't know we were getting back in. Ouch. Yeah, again at that again. assembly. All right, so. Can you see anywhere in there where it got tight, where it got thick? No. That would be over here. 
See the bushing? Yes. See how it's heavily polished? Yeah. Because it was pushing hard against it. Oh, okay. So that's our problem on that. And you also see the mark on the counter shaft. See how it's transferring metal right there? Mm hmm. It's tight. It's tighter than hell. Okay, I'm going to release the kicker ratchet because I can't. I have to pull this all out to fix it. Yeah, but that one spot where it went over. See the bushing in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Shiny from where it was pressing. Yes. So we have a complete lack of in-play. You see you're chewing up the metal in here. This is eating up the bushing a little bit too, I'm sure. So our overall width right here is what our problem is. We need to get this down by about 15 tile. That's what we need. Because we're, we're negative 5 at least. So you take some off of each end? I'm sure it clears 5 out by rotating it because it's chewed that bushing up in there a little bit. So we need to get, we need to go in 10 thou. And we know this one here was not quite all the way down on this side. With that washer it was in there pretty tight. I don't think it's going to go any further. It was in there pretty tight. Let's see. Depth caliper here again. We'll go ahead and do a zero reading on this. difference. Go put this in a press, press on again, and I don't think it's going to go any deeper. We'll see. Tons of pressure. I think it's probably enough to do any kind of adjustment. Don't it's think it's do. going any deeper, huh? No, not without breaking. Something. It didn't feel like it moved any. I didn't make any difference there. Could the washer be too thick? It doesn't matter wherever the stack up of clearance is what the problem is. So I'm obviously not getting the washer out of here very easily. We can grind in the counter shaft away to get what we need. You can go in here and do a trim on this, either on this side or this side, and the clearance we need. Or we can cut the trap door over here down a few thou to get it on this side. It doesn't matter where you do it. Any of those positions will do what we need to do. I would think the easiest would be the either side of the gear cluster. No, because we got to take it all apart, clean it. Oh, that's right. Okay. And then that washer, I have it? to work around it. Gotcha. But uh, it, it's hard to grind this flat because there's no flat surface here to work on. Gotcha, with. gotcha, yeah. So, no, that's not an easy way of doing it. That's hard. Okay. Cutting this in the lathe, it's probably relatively easily done. I doubt if this is all that hard. So this would be pretty easy. I doubt if this is all that flat. Going by the quality of most of the stuff, I doubt if it's all that flat. So this is pretty easy to change the distance on this one pretty quickly. So this is our easiest thing to do. The next easiest thing to do is take the cover here and put it in the lathe and I mean the mill and Cut that bushing down a little bit, but it's easier to do this one here. So I'm assuming it's not very hard. All right, so I'm gonna go clean this up. We'll be back.